My name's Andrew Groves, uh, and I play in a band called Arcane Roots. Arcane Roots are a three-piece, and we all kind of more or less met each other in college. We all kind of really decided that the band had begun in 2009, and kind of ever since then we put out our first EP, Left Fire, then did a, a full-length album called Blood and Chemistry, uh, preceded by another EP uh, called Heaven and Earth, and we're currently just about to put out um, our brand new record, Melancholia Hymns, uh, in September. Truth be told, I actually wanted to be a drummer, but you can't turn drums down, so I ended up getting a guitar. At the age of 14, I was very much into kind of the new metal genre, uh, sort of gravitating towards players that would improve my, my guitar playing. John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, that was kind of a very much and, and still is, you know, a huge hero of mine and, and someone I really gravitated towards. At the same time, my guitar teacher was really into Alan Holdsworth and Pat Metheny. Via my dad, I got into Pink Floyd and King Crimson and all these other kind of bands. And I always wanted to be in a huge band with lots of members as kind of my jazzier playing and, and, and uh, rock sensibilities kind of fused into the Mars Volta as I got a little bit older and, and those kinds of bands and King Crimson. I, I wanted to be in this huge band and Arkin Roots was a three piece. So I had to kind of work hard to make my playing go a bit further and kind of really cover um, the spectrum live. And, and you know, I loved the Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page school of guitar, but I could never play solos in this band because it, the, the dynamics would drop so much. I've kind of had to really adapt my playing into this duality of keeping keeping the sound full, but also kind of achieving the athletics that I desired or wanted to be able to do on the guitar. So that's kind of what's sort of brought me here today, really. chance happened to bump into a beer uh, and he very much kind of introduced me in, both in person and on his YouTube channel to Victory Amps and I, I really love the idea that every single amp has its own characteristics and sound and so that's certainly a, a huge part of, of, of what attracted me to them. I've come here today to try out um, and sort of see what see what I loved really. <laughs> um, I think I first started off with the 130 Countess, um, or the Super Countess even. Um, that kind of has all of the, uh, for the Arcane Roots side of things, I really need um, a, a two channel amp and then anything from a super, super crystal clean to, you know, as distorted as it gets. But then at the same time, um, certainly I enjoy a cleaner, bluesier aspect to my playing and kind of uh, EL34 type amps have kind of always felt like home to me. They're, I When I'm at home and, you know, certainly on our new album, there's a, a lot more um, of a kind of uh, a softer touch. Um, so I tried the Sheriff 22 and the V40 Deluxe, you know, I can be playing this amp and then kind of either which one of these will add a whole other dynamic to my playing. So this kind of uh, 
with the sheriff, it's certainly got that kind of that very kind of plexi like approach, um, which I love, which massively appeals to my Frusciante Hendrix kind of breaking up uh, style of playing. Um, but then the V40 Deluxe is just is just a dreamboat, really, isn't it? So uh, so it kind of also gives me um, that, that beautiful clean. So kind of the jury's out at the moment. I'm still uh, I'm still I'm still enjoying them so much that I haven't really thought about what's applicable. Certainly, I, I think pairing up um, the the 130, or even the Kraken, we tried. Uh, actually, I did like the Kraken we tried today as well. You know, either which one of these can can kind of add a new dynamic to my playing. Certainly, the Sheriff 22 today, plugging that in today was just. I feel like my playing changed. So to have that experience today was something, something new. Anyway. <laughs> So I've been Andrew from Arcane Roots um, and our brand new album Melancholia Hymns is out on September the 15th and you can be sure to hear a lot more of whichever one of these <laughs> that I decide to choose upon uh, at Reading and Leeds Festival uh, at the end of August. Mm -hmm.